How's it going there? I'm Josh Gort. Uh, I just wanted to take a quick minute to uh, talk about morning routines because I really feel it's made a big impact on my life uh, this uh, last year and just over the past few years. And I really feel like when I have my morning routine down and I'm doing it consistently, that the results in my life uh, explode. The uh, habits that you create in the morning really affect the habits of your day. And, it, and it's asking yourself, hey, what, what's the first thing that I do in the morning, right? Am I getting distracted by my phone in the morning or am I focusing on my vision, right? Because if you're getting distracted by something else, then usually it's you're, you're getting caught in somebody else's vision of what, uh, what they want for you. So I think it's important in the morning to take some time to have uh, what you do to focus for your vision and focus for what you want to create for the day, for the week, for the month, for the year, you know, for your life. And it's something that can be really simple, right? I, I really focus on, um, you know, The Miracle Morning has been a, a huge impact on my life. It's a great book by Hal Elrod. If you haven't heard of it, I definitely recommend checking it out. And he also has a Facebook community of over 100,000 people that are just like-minded individuals that uh, really are motivated to hone in on their morning routine and just go after their goals in life. So one of the things in The Miracle Morning he talks about is the savers. So it just stands for silence, affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribing. So I do a combination of all those. I don't do it in that specific order, but uh, I will def I definitely make sure I meditate for about 10 minutes in the morning. And with meditation, sometimes you don't have the ability to clear your mind. Your mind can go a thousand miles a minute, right? A thousand miles a second. And you're thinking of a bunch of different things, but the benefit I've found from meditation is just really being able to sit still, really being able to relax, really being able to let go of some of those thoughts, whether they be thoughts of something I have to do today, or you know, maybe it's a thought of like, oh, I could have done that better, right? But just really, just being still in the moment and just letting that thought go, just saying, hey, it doesn't matter right now, just being present to the moment has really helped me uh, give structure to my day. And it, I feel like it also helps me be more present when I'm with people. The other thing I've been doing is uh, I've been reading Og Mandino's The Greatest Salesman in the World, and he has 10 scrolls that he goes through. And with the scrolls, he uh, talks about reading them every day. Right, so I've, I'm on scroll number three, so this is the third month that I've been doing it. And I'm, you know, get, coming up on the fourth scroll, and you know, I'm still not perfect with reading it every day, and it, it's, it's a practice of reading it three times a day. It's a practice of reading it uh, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once in the evening, and the evening one is out loud. I actually, I like to read the morning one out loud as well, just because it, it gets me excited for the day. It gives me a dynamic that uh, is inspiring and it, it just really sends me into a place where I'm excited and I'm motivated uh, for the day. And then I, I have a, a statement of desire, a statement of desire I created based on Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. And his chapter two is about desire. And he talks about creating a statement of desire of the riches that you want to attain. So focusing on, hey, how much money do I want to acquire? What, it, what are the riches that I want to attain? Because it doesn't just have to be money. It could be something else. And, you know, what, uh, what's the time frame? So how, how long is it going to take you to acquire it? And you know, what are you willing to do and what are you willing to give and, you know, how will you provide service to acquire those riches? 
And the power in affirmations is, is to really train your subconscious mind that these things have already happened or you're already living as that person that you want to be. And so it just really gets me focused and gets me excited for what I want to do for the day, you know, what, uh, what I see long term for myself. And then with that, while I'm reading that affirmation, I'm also almost just visualizing mentally uh, those things happening. And it, it gives me extra ideas of, oh, I could do that. Oh, this is another idea I can do to take action on my vision. And sometimes it, it's just a random thing, but uh, connecting with somebody or um, calling someone, it, it's just, it, it'll inspire me to take some sort of action. And I think that's, that's the thing that's important from, from these routines is like, you don't have to take action right in that moment, but it, it, write down those action steps. Write down, hey, yeah, make sure I follow up with that person or make sure I have this conversation or, or hey, maybe I need to just eliminate a bad habit or implement a new habit just to uh, help me towards my vision. And then uh, one of the things is exercise. You know, I, I don't always do the exercise part, but I, I make sure I'm when I'm reading my affirmations, I'm walking around typically, making sure I'm getting movement, right? I make sure I get out of bed right away. Uh, I also, <clears throat> one thing I forgot to mention in my morning routine that, that I got from a, a talk, uh, it's a, I think it was a general in the military, he talks about making your bed every morning. And that for me is, is critical. It's like, I will not, that's like the first thing I do in the morning, I make my bed. And it sounds funny, but I, I don't know if it's like OCD now at this point, or it's just like I have to make my bed in the morning because if I don't, then I can't get started with my day. Uh, another thing I do is read. So, you know, making sure you're putting good knowledge into your mind, making sure that you're putting positive things into your mind, making sure you're learning a new skill set by what you read. I'm reading a lot on sales and finance right now, and just how it can help me get towards my financial goals and how it can help me get towards uh, my vision. And then with writing, I'll uh, typically write down my goals uh, for the day, write down sometimes a to-do list for the day. You know, sometimes I'm just uh, writing some ideas down or writing, I play a lot of music, so I'll write down uh, song lyrics or poetry, right? Just creating and finding something that I'm excited about, finding something that I'm grateful for, uh, those are those are things that are important to me in my morning routine and then you know getting down to business right it's like what what's the next thing what's the first thing that I need to do and what are the most important things that I need to do and not a not allowing things that are not important uh, distract me from what is important because I think so often people uh, get distracted by the unimportant things in their life or the things that are urgent but really it's like I've been simplifying my life and finding, hey, what's most important and how can I get that done first? Because if I can get the most important things done before uh, 12 o'clock or before two o'clock, it, it's already, I won the day. I won the day. The rest of the day can go to shit and I've won the day, right, at that point. And it, and it doesn't mean, hey, stop working after I accomplish those things. It's like, hey, what's the next most important thing? What's the next most significant thing? Uh, that I can work on and a uh, great book on prioritizing is uh, Stephen Covey highly seven habits of highly effective people right so <clears throat> just utilizing the knowledge that I've learned from experts right because I, I really feel like if I just apply the principles that these experts teach I I will be successful right and I've I've found that to be true in my own life so you know, I hope this helps you. I, I'd love for you to share your morning routine and uh, what you do in the morning. And if there's something that's powerful for you within your morning routine. You know, I've heard even some people, they're like, hey, just taking cold showers in the morning or just making sure they're, the first thing they do is go work out, you know, or having that cup of coffee or that cup of tea. But asking yourself, hey, what is serving you in the morning? What gets you excited in the morning? and uh, 
what is that morning routine look like for you and if there's anything I could do to help you design a better morning routine uh, feel free to post in the comments or reach out to me if you know me personally and uh, I will see what I can do to help thanks talk to you guys later